Dr. Shelby Harris, and this is Awake at the Wheel. Today, we're going to talk about the dangers of drowsy driving. Driving while drowsy, or DWD, is a much bigger problem than most people think. In fact, it can be more dangerous than driving while intoxicated. Almost a quarter of fatal crashes involve a drowsy driver. These are often single car crashes as the driver drifts off and literally drifts off the road at top speed. What I find most troubling is that the majority of drivers understand that it's dangerous to drive drowsy, but in practice, they don't really know the steps to prevent it. That's why I thought it was so important to create this series. First, who are we talking about here? Those at greatest risk of drowsy driving are people who are sleep deprived. And when I say sleep deprived, I mean people getting less than seven hours of sleep per night. People who drive at night, people who drive long distances, people who work 60 plus hours a week or work the night shift, people who drink alcohol, even limited amounts, people who take medication or drugs, and people who travel across time zones, often causing their sleep cycles to shift. And let's not forget about uh -huh. teens, as if they don't have enough problems with phone distractions putting them in danger in the car. Uh -huh. Sleepiness is another huge factor. So basically, uh -huh. this amounts to most of us at one time or another. We're all at uh -huh. risk for drowsy driving. Yeah, I can survive on five hours of sleep, no problem. I have many patients with sleep problems and I need to remind them frequently that our bodies may attempt to make up for lost sleep even when we think we're awake. This phenomenon can contribute to drowsy driving. As in, how do you truly know you're awake at the wheel? I think we've all experienced situations where we're trying to stay awake and suddenly had that head jolt, realizing we nodded off. In the car, drowsiness and sleep deprivation can cause these micro-sleep episodes that last from two to three seconds, or sometimes even shorter. What's scary is that these pockets of unconsciousness can happen when we have our eyes open, with the driver often totally unaware that it's happening. And if technically we have our eyes open, reaction time, memory, attention, concentration, alertness, they're all compromised when we're drowsy. Our sleepiness is not just our problem, as many have found out the hard way. I had undiagnosed sleep apnea. Last thing I remember, I was leaving for work. It's bad enough what happened to me, but what happened to them, I will never get over. There are very serious consequences to driving while drowsy. But the good news is that we can all take steps to prevent DWD. The first of these is learning about good sleep hygiene. Sleep hygiene? Sounds like something my dentist would say. What is that, like clean sheets or something? Good question. As your designated sleep doctor, I'll explain more about the importance of sleep hygiene and what that means in our next segment, Sleep Matters. Thanks for watching. <laughs>